life and a string of depressing news reports described how a Texan hunting society has auctioned a permit to shoot and kill a rare Namibian black rhino. The rhino is a magnificent horny beast, sadly destined to be unceremoniously mounted over a stranger's fireplace, just like your mum. Corey Knowlton, the man who paid $350,000 for the permit, outlined his reasoning in a penetrating interview. I'm a hunter. I want to experience a black rhino. I want to be intimately involved with a black rhino. Sorry, what did that permit allow you to do again? In emotional scenes, Knowlton explained that shooting the black rhino is in fact the best way to protect the black rhino. The fact of the matter is... We raised $350,000 for the black rhino. It's the most that ever been raised, and it's absolutely going to conservation. Yes, and with fewer rhinos to spend it on, that money will go even further. So we're just not going in there and saying, hey, we're going on a rhino hunt, and, you know, here, have a beer, we're going to find a rhino. I mean, no, it is a scientific process. Specifically, it's an experiment to find out what happens when a rhino gets exposed to lead. He says the hunt will also be for the good of the herd by targeting an older, aggressive male past reproduction. But the news prompted a barrage of death threats from people who wanted to kill him. Sick human trap. The death threats started I coming. He died slowly and painful. Don't look at them as death threats, look at them as conservationists targeting an older, aggressive male past reproduction. Still, despite the outrage, the news made clear he's undaunted and proud. In, in a way, we won, and conservation won, and the black rhino won. And it will celebrate that win with a nice lie down and a rot.